Hey there, it's Rob Padgett with Synapse, here again with a short walkthrough video of Simply Snap, and this time we're gonna focus on Simply Snap for uh, HVAC. I've got the Simply Snap web app here on my iPad. We're gonna go ahead and open it up, and we're gonna log into a site that is set up for um, HVAC and climate control. Now, what you see here when you land, if you're familiar with our lighting products, you can see this site um, has a number of lights, 148, that uh, are already up and running. And when a site is configured for HVAC, you'll notice here in the upper left, there's uh, some new icons. There's an HVAC layer, a climate layer here that we can select. And what you'll see here are thermostats that are connected to Simply Snap. Now, one thing I want to note is this site is set up for lighting and climate. You wouldn't have to have lights if you're just doing HVAC control. That's fine. Uh, but in this case, you know, Simply Snap is capable of doing many different applications. Uh, and we have a site that is set up for both lighting and climate. Now, the way we're connecting to those thermostats is with the Synapse Control Thermostat device, which you'll see here in this picture. So here at the top, there's a uh, Honeywell thermostat. And it's talking back net to our control thermostat device. And then that gives us the ability to wirelessly from Simply Snap send set points, um, set the fan mode. And we can do that at different times of day on a schedule. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. So in this example, um, all of these rooftop units are running all the time, which um, isn't a very efficient way to manage the facility. But because all of these thermostats are connected to um, our devices, we can bring the control of all these thermostats into Simply Snap and more smartly manage the uh, air in the facility. Now you'll notice when I select a the thermostat, um, there's some information here. I can see the temperature that it's currently reading, humidity, and I could go ahead and manually change the set point. So um, if nothing else, having all of the thermostats in Simply Snap does give you the ability to go in and control those from one um, simple to use mobile friendly interface. But like I said, the real power of the system um, is being able to more holistically manage and, and be a little smarter about how we're gonna use the air. So this is a, an example, what we actually worked with a customer on a couple weeks ago. Um, they have a manufacturing facility and they're not a 24 seven operation. They only have two shifts, first and second during the week. And uh, overnight there's no one around in the building or there may be a few maintenance staff. So rather than having the uh, rooftop units dump air into the facility all of the time, we're gonna change the schedule within Simply Snap to match the production of the facility. So what we're gonna start by doing is going and putting all of these thermostats into a climate zone. So here in the upper left um, is the menu, and you'll see uh, under climate, we've got uh, devices and zones. So I'm gonna select devices and zones, and you'll see here um, there's two tabs. There's a zones and thermostats. When I click on the thermostats, I can see here are the four uh, thermostats that are already in the system connected to rooftop units. There's their current temperature readings. And uh, we're going to put all of those four into one zone. So we're going to go uh, add climate zone and we'll call this um, fabrication HVAC. So we're in our fab building. We're going to take um, the four thermostats, put them together into a zone. And now that they're in a zone, we can then change the set points uh, in that zone using routines. So we're going to go back to the menu. And right under climate, we've got this routines option. So we're gonna go add routine, and then we'll use this. Um, we're gonna set the set points overnight, which back off. So we're gonna change the uh, air conditioning set points up to a higher value. So we're gonna add um, set point of 80 degrees since there won't be anyone around in the facility. And then we're going to select the zone we want to apply that set point to, which is the new fabrication HVAC that we just created. And we're going to select done and then create routine. So just like that. Now, if we wanted to go apply that, we could go and test it, click run now, and it'll apply that set point to the climate zone. But what we're going to do now is instead of applying it, we're going to put it on a schedule to run um, every night during the week. So over here on the right, we're gonna select the three dots and then schedule. And here we will run this um, HVAC fab building. You can name it whatever you want. And then we're gonna run it at 11 o'clock, which matches when there will be no one around in the building. And we're gonna do this um, during the week, five days a week. And here is the routine that we uh, set up just a moment ago, the overnight HVAC off routine. So we're gonna select that and then schedule event. 
And now you'll look, here is the schedule. And every night at 11 o'clock, that routine is going to run to kick the set points up to 80 degrees. Now we want to do this same thing for the daytime. We want to change the set points back down to a lower value. And so we're going to go back to the routines menu and set up a new routine for daytime operation. So we'll call this one daytime HVAC on. And then we're going to do a set point of 73 degrees. Select that same climate zone, create routine. And then we're going to put that one on a schedule. So this one will be uh, daytime fabrication HVAC. And we'll run this one now. The Shift starts at 6 a.m. We're going to kick this on at 5.30 so that we have uh, some pre-cooling time. Um, there are some equipment in the building that uh, definitely makes it hot during the day. So we'll give it a chance to catch up ahead of time before they start uh, using their welders. So we're going to run that five days a week, 5.30 a.m. And then we're going to select the daytime HVAC on, routine, schedule event. And there we go. So now 5.30 a.m., we've got our daytime fabrication routine that'll run and then our fab building overnight um, schedule that'll run. So just like that, now we have set up Simply Snap to bring the control of all of these units that are all running independently. We bring them together into Simply Snap with the control thermostat. We're changing their set points at different times of day to um, better match the use of the facility and we're getting energy savings out of that um, for the customer. If you have any questions or you want to see more, feel free to contact us at synapsewireless.com.